Yo, yo, what up, guys? It's Roll Easy here, and I'm back with another solo money glitch and give cars to friends slash free cars glitch. You know, two in one in one video. I'm jam packing this thing to bring you guys the best content right now at the moment. So the first glitch we got is the solo money glitch in this video. The second one will be the give cars to friends. I'll leave a time step from the give cars to friends right now. Now, what you're going to need for the solo money glitch is you're going to need a facility. It's got to be full of Fagios or RH8s. You're also going to need a Pegasus vehicle. I'm using a Buzzard right now, okay? I'm going to call up a Buzzard Attack Chopper. You can call up any Pegasus vehicle you want. Now, apart from that, you obviously do, well, you do need a Deluxo as well, okay, for both these methods, but it's super easy. If you don't have a Deluxo yet, just have a friend give one to you, okay? And obviously a Benny's vehicle to duplicate, and the Benny's vehicle needs to have a custom plate on it. LG Retro Custom sell for the most. So you see where I landed my Buzzard Attack Chopper right there? That's where you want to park it, okay? You want to park it, like, right behind the, the yellow circle, basically right there. Now, remember, these vehicles can't get sucked in. They're Pegasus vehicles. That's why we're using those, okay? So at this moment now, you want to get your Deluxo out. Okay, so call up your Deluxo. Uh, quick shout out to the founders as well. Uh, you know, you got uh, the French came up with this brand new method, uh, Tudo Facile France, uh, Belge. You got Apocalypse and also Unfazed Gaming for figuring out the solo part for this glitch, okay? So, apart from that, like I said, we are calling out our Deluxo right now, okay? And you need custom plates, guys. If you're duping a Benny's vehicle, it needs to have a custom plate that is very, very essential. So now I have my Deluxo out. So here we go. So this is what you want to do. Get inside of your Deluxo. Go ahead and drive up to your full facility so that you get the facility full alert. Okay, just like you're about to see me do right here. So here we go. I'm going to drive up to it. I got the facility full alert. Open up your Xbox dashboard or PlayStation dashboard and then close it. Okay, so just press the, uh, the home button and then press it again. And then there you go. The alert should go away. Now, what you want to do is go ahead and go into hover mode, all right? So enter hover mode right now, and at a medium speed, you want to just fly over your, or hover over your facility, I should say, okay? So medium speed, hover over it, the facility full alert should come up, count a few seconds. Basically, you're still hovering in the background, and you want to accept this alert once you feel like you're, you know, cleared away from the facility. There you go. So I've accepted the alert, and I'm clear from the facility. And now you want to simply just slowly go back to the side of the facility. You should just, you know, get to a dead stop like that. And then you'll get sucked into the facility. Just like this. Okay, guys? This method is so easy, I'm telling you. Mad easy. So is the gift cards to friends now. These are awesome methods, man. So once you get to this part, you're not going to select to replace over a vehicle. You're going to hit cancel. Well, you're going to first deny, uh, you know, replacing over a vehicle. And when you get that alert, you're going to go ahead and accept that alert. Okay? So it's B, then A, circle, then X on PlayStation. Now you want to exit the facility, start spamming Y or triangle, okay? Just keep spamming it the whole time. Just spam, 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 okay? Keep pressing it, keep pressing it. You're going to see what happens right now. So I'm pressing it, I'm pressing it, I'm still spamming. And look, I'm starting to walk over to my Pegasus vehicle that we parked right there, and I'm actually getting into it, okay? You can actually hear what's happening in the background. I put the volume up. So now I'm in the Pegasus vehicle, I'm in my buzzard. You can hear the blades, you know, turning and stuff like that. We're good to go. What you want to do now is actually accept this alert, okay? When you accept this alert, nothing should happen. Remember, we're in a Pegasus vehicle, so we're not going to get sucked in to the facility. So that's exactly what you want. Go ahead and hop out, all right? Once you've hopped out of it, you're pretty much fully glitched out. You want to go ahead and call up your Benny's vehicle that you're going to be duplicating. Remember, this must be a Benny's vehicle. Those of you guys that can't sell your cars... If you get an alert that says your vehicle is worth over $50,000, you know, and can't be sold, that's because it's not a Benny's vehicle, guys. If you're trying to do supercars, sports cars, things like that, it does not work, okay? If you're ever trying to dupe a supercar or a sports car, you can, but you keep the dupe and you sell the original. That's all you do, okay? So this vehicle right here, this is the vehicle I'm using. Now, this part is optional. You can kill yourself if you want to. Some people were saying they need to. Some people are saying they don't. I did it just to show you guys that it is an option, but it's not necessary, okay? It's different. It varies from account to account. So I just did it to be safe and to show you guys that, you know, it is a possibility. If you want to skip that and try it without it, go ahead. It's probably going to work for you. I think it works for most people. So once 
I've gotten my LG Retro Custom out with a custom plate on it. It must have a custom plate. You're going to see something funny after we finish off this glitch. But yeah, this must have a custom plate on it. Go ahead and drive up to an area like this where the doors are blocked off, okay? You want the passenger side door and the driver side door to be blocked off. And if they're done, if they're blocked off correctly, you should be able to hit Y or triangle and then you should be teleporting in and out of the vehicle. So I obviously wasn't in a good position there. I'm going to get into a better position right here. There we go. Now I can spam Y and I can get in and out of the vehicle. So sign in as a motorcycle club president and you want to go ahead and hover over return vehicle to storage, hit A and Y at the same time, or X and triangle on PlayStation at the same time. Done correctly, interaction menu's gone, and you're in the vehicle. Don't hop out of it, it's gonna disappear. So now you can simply just, you know, you got a glitched car, you're all glitched out, go ahead and drive into your facility. Now you want to approach it a little bit slower than normal, don't gun it in there, just go ahead and approach it, and here we go, we've gotten the facility full alert, go ahead and accept it, and there you go. We have just created a duplicate, and I wouldn't say it's clean just yet. You're going to see something here, all right? And I'm going to show you, you know, why I always check my plates. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and replace over one of these Sanchez's that I don't care about. And there we go, all right? So now check this out. I'm going to run over to the plate like I usually do and show you guys. Look, I have a generic plate on my LG Retro Custom, okay? At first, I didn't really notice it. I actually had to walk back. I was like, wait a minute. I didn't see like a real easy plate or anything on there. Look at that. It has a generic number plate. I actually created a dirty dupe by mistake. I wish I could say I did it on purpose to show you guys. It was 100% a mistake, okay? This is a dirty duplicate. You do not want dirty dupes. You want cars like this that got the custom plates, especially for this glitch. For this glitch, you don't merge plates. You need a custom plate on that vehicle. So this is what I do, and this is what you should do when you create a dirty dupe, okay? I'm not even gonna let that stay in there for too long. I'm gonna go ahead and order up a Sanchez right over it, okay? So Route 68, I know it's this spot right here. Boom, I'm gonna replace that dupe. Uh, yeah, you know, all that work I did was for nothing right there, but check it out, I'm safe. I'm not gonna be dupe detected. If you wanna be even safer, go ahead and delete that other car that you duplicated, uh, you know, the original car, because that one still had that plate. I went ahead and did that anyways. You know, I wanna be safe. I don't wanna ruin this account. Anyway, so that's pretty much it for the solo money glitch. Just start back from the beginning again with the Pegasus vehicle and all that stuff. Now we're on to the gift cards to friends. You obviously need one friend to help you with this. He has to have a car he's giving you, and you need a full facility with Fagos or RH8s and a Deluxo, all right? So almost like the same requirements as the other one. You just need a friend now, and you need your friend to give you a vehicle. So you want my friend right here. He's giving me the LG Retro Custom. And if, if your friend's giving you a car for a money glitch like this, make sure that you guys have the same custom plate, okay? This car he's giving me has my Roll Easy plate. We both have that in our iFruit. So whatever cars he gives me with Roll Easy on it, that's a clean duplicate for me, okay? So make sure you're doing that, all right? Now, once again, I'm going to go ahead and grab my Deluxo. He's going to park his vehicle right there, okay? Basically right behind the circle, kind of like we had the Pegasus vehicle. So I'm going to go ahead and get the facility fuller once again. Hit my Xbox or PlayStation dashboard button, then close it back up. Return to the game. The facility full alert is gone. Now, same as before, I'm going to go ahead and enter hover mode and fly over, hover over the side of the facility. Okay, so here we go. At medium speed, go ahead and hover over. You got the full alert. Remember, in the background, we're still moving. So go ahead and count a few seconds. Once you know you're clear from the facility, accept that alert. Go ahead and turn around, and you want to just head straight back over to that side of the facility. Okay, so I'm going to head over to the side, and as you can see right here, you come to that really crazy dead stop. I don't know why I was backing up right here. I think I was waiting just enough time to make sure I was going to get the alert, but there we go. Dead stop, and I'm getting pulled right into the facility just like that, okay? So now that I'm getting pulled inside of the facility, I'm going to go ahead and actually, you know, I'm going to deny this alert. Okay, so you see that selected vehicle to replace? I'm going to hit B on there, so circle or B, and then right here on this alert, I'm going to hit A and accept that, okay? So it's B, A, then it's circle X, okay? That's what it is, okay? So now you're going to go ahead and exit the facility. Once I'm exiting the facility, we're spamming Y or triangle right now, okay? Just keep spamming, spam, 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 all right? We're spamming the hell out of that button right now, Y or triangle, and you see that? He was walking towards the car. I might have the full alert, but guess what? He's actually walking around to the passenger seat and getting in, okay? You should be able to hear it. I got the volume up right now. So he's getting in the car right now. Once your friend sees that you've gotten in the passenger seat, your friend can go ahead and hop out of the vehicle. 
I slid over to the driver's side, the vehicle started. Now, what I want to do is go ahead and accept this alert and just back up, okay? So you're going to see that happen here real soon. That's all I got to do, guys. I'm in the vehicle already. I've ex uh, or My friend has gotten out. I'm in the driver's seat. I'm going to go ahead and accept this alert right now. I accepted it. I'm going to back up just like this. You don't have to back up too far whatsoever. Just back up a little bit and then slowly drive up to the facility just at a nice steady pace. And at first, you see it wasn't letting me enter and then boom, just sucks me right in, okay? That's what you want to see. All right, so just like that, guys, my friend has given me a car. He's given me a retro worth, I think this one's worth 978 grand. So basically a million dollars my friend just gave me. I'm going to go ahead and replace over that Sanchez, all right? I had my old dupe there and now I got the new one, all right? So... There you go, guys. Two glitches in one. Make sure these vehicles, remember, you once you pull them out, they get bricked and stuff. So you got to go ahead and either swap character, go to your second character, back to your first, or close app and come back, and then you can drive these cars and they're accessible, okay? Make sure you're using custom plates, Benny's vehicles. You guys got to be safe, okay? Be safe, be smart, all right? That's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. Make sure, if you're brand new to the channel, to hit that big red subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. And don't forget, we are on the road to 25,000 subscribers. Peace out and have an awesome day.